Hello everybody! This is a new segment that I'm doing. It's mostly for myself, but I thought that it would be nice to share something like this with everybody else out there because maybe it would inspire someone to do the same. So this is a new thing I'm doing. It's 100 days of self-reflection. I actually got the idea from Kyle Cease. Um, he's one of my favorite motivational speakers and he actually did it where he meditates every day and whatever comes up during his meditation then he kind of talks about it. Um, I'm do doing it a little differently although I am trying to start meditating and doing mindfulness exercises I'm gonna focus on a topic and then I'm gonna bring it to you guys and I'm gonna talk about it. Um, I was gonna have my topic be something different today but I got really caught on the subject of success and what it means to me and I thought it would be good to talk about it because it means different things to different people. And I wrote a post about it a while ago talking about, well, a few different posts. One, talking about how fear is the defeater of, of success, whether that's your relationship, um, your job, what you want your life to be, your passion. Fear gets in the way of all of those things and being su successful in all of those areas. So, I mean, fear is kind of the defeater of happiness in general, so that's why I wrote that post. I actually have the link down in my description so you can check that out. The other post that I wrote was, I think it was like three years ago, and it was tips to success. Um, obviously I'm not 100% where I want to be, which is why this idea came to my head. Because lately I've kind of been feeling like I'm not where I want to be in life and you know that brings up a lot of uh, resentment and regret and wishing I had done something differently or wishing I had made a different decision or basically just brings up a whole bunch of things like why am I here how did I get here and if I had made another decision could I be somewhere else uh, so yeah that's been on my mind a lot today so that's kind of why I chose the topic so basically I wrote this post and they're like all these little tips and stuff and they kind of fit in no matter what your definition of success is. Like if for you going to school, getting a good job, having a family, and doing all that stuff, that is your idea of success. These tips still work with that. My idea of success, I guess, is having freedom, um, financial freedom, um, just freedom in general, like being able to move anywhere or travel anywhere or go anywhere, do anything I want whenever I want. To me, that's, that's what success means, and I'm just not at that point in my life. So I guess that's where all of this came up. Um, so one of the one of the posts or one of the uh, numbers on my post was "Don't let failures, small failures, ruin the big picture." Sometimes something small happens, and at least for me, it feels like it's the end. It's over. There's no point in trying anymore. There's no point in getting up tomorrow and, and figuring out because it's it's over. It's done. So I think we need to remember that bouncing back from failure and being able to get back up and respond positively to stress and positively to failure is the best way to be successful. Because if we just lie down every time something bad happens to us, we're never going to improve. Like nothing's ever going to go our way because one thing happens and then we're done. We're done. Coughing out. Not doing it anymore. Not trying. Fuck it. Screw it. I don't want to do it anymore. So I think that's a really important one and that's something that I have to remember because like right now I'm not financially stable. I'm not. The you know the stuff that I was making money from, my meal delivery, all that stuff, it's just not quite getting me where I want to be. And that's scary. The security blanket feels like it's gone. But then again, I always think of this quote, um, leap and the net will appear. And it's true. Um, all, in the past, for some reason, I was always capable of just doing it. Like, I'm not afraid. I know the money will show up. I'm just going to go out and do what I need to do and I'll be okay. But lately I've been feeling very discouraged by, you know, not being able to pay my rent or not really being able to spend any money on anything that I want or being ha having to be very careful with even what I spend on food for the block. Like if you noticed, I do a lot of vegetarian stuff now and that's partially because meat and stuff is expensive. So it can also be a challenge. Like you can think of bad stuff that happens to you as a challenge and how can I change my lifestyle to fit into the circumstances right now? Or how can I change my lifestyle to make the circumstances different? So those are both things to think about.
Another really important thing that I have to keep reminding myself is to not care what other people think. Because for some people, the fact that I dropped out of college, didn't, don't still really care about getting my degree just because in my workspace, like it just doesn't matter. Like if I had a bachelor's right now, would you guys be watching me more than if I didn't? Or no, I don't think so. I don't think it would make a difference. Um, and a lot of people judge me for that. And a lot of people ask me like, oh, where did you go to school? Chatsworth High School, like <laughs> I graduated high school. I went to, you know, community college for a couple years. Didn't graduate, didn't get a degree, nothing, nothing. And for some people that's looked down upon. And I have to remember, and you have to remember that it doesn't matter. Our definition of success is what we make it. So for somebody else, what you think of as a successful life could look like total shit. And that's just the reality. But the whole thing about success is that you define it yourself. And it's for you. It's for nobody else. Success to me in life means to be happy. It doesn't necessarily mean having a lot of money. Yes, enough money to pay my bills and to feel, you know, calm when it comes to my finances. But ultimately success for me is being happy, being at peace and finding joy and being able to do the things that I love on a daily basis. And if that means, you know, working in my passion, fine. If it just means being able to express my passion and do my joys and do the things that I love on a daily basis, even if I don't make money from them, that's great too. Um, so yeah, it's just something I've been thinking about and I guess tonight I'm going to be, be really trying to pinpoint what my passions are and what my idea of success is and I hope you guys will do the same. Alright, I will see you tomorrow. Bye!